North Tonawanda police believe that this man, Joseph Belstadt, holds the key to closing the books on a 25-year-old murder case. Good evening, everyone. Investigators have now made an arrest in the 1993 murder of 17-year-old Mandy Steingasser. It was new forensic evidence that got investigators what they needed. 25 years ago, the body of the Lewiston teen was found in a nearby park a month after she was last seen leaving a party. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley has more now on the murder and a promise to the victim's father. I'm going to let her lay in that Bonds Lake for five weeks. Her body decomposed, skeletonized. It was just terrible. No human being should be left like that. No human being. Gabriel DiBernardo is the former chief of detectives for North Tonawanda Police. He was one of several retired police officers who were in Niagara County Court to watch the arraignment of Joseph Belstadt on second-degree murder charges for killing 17-year-old Mandy Steingasser nearly 25 years ago. It's a long time coming. It's um, family justice. The 43-year-old was always considered a suspect because Mandy was last seen getting into his car before she disappeared in September 1993. Mandy's body was found five weeks later dumped in Bond Lake County Park in Lewiston. It was the only case that we, we didn't solve, really, in our detective bureau, and it, it's, it's with you every day. Belstadt's family had no comment, but when we told one of Mandy's close friends about the arrest, she had this reaction. I am overwhelmed with emotion. I am happy and I'm crying. Joseph Belstadt's attorney entered a not guilty plea. We suspected that this was coming, so it wasn't a surprise. But prosecutors told the court that new forensic evidence helped crack this case. And underscores our commitment to unsolved crimes here in Niagara County. We leave no one behind. When it came time to discuss bail, District Attorney Carolyn Watozek said Belstead was a flight risk from the beginning, having been spotted getting his car cleaned inside and out around the time of the murder, then convincing friends to lie for him, creating a phony story about dropping Mandy off on Oliver Street, and even refusing to cooperate with police when he was arrested Tuesday night. Anybody who can take a life like that isn't a human being. For retired detectives and Mandy's friends and family, I hope now that justice will include a conviction and a lifetime sentence in jail. But I want the conviction, and that's what I promised Richard, the father. Belstad is now being held on a quarter million dollars cash bail. In North Tonawanda, Ed Riley 7, Eyewitness News.